Today, we will read Shishivilaka Kusumanjali, verse 39. Om Riga Shabakshi. Phone eyed girl. When can I beautify your chin? That is a boat of Mukunda's place with a drop of mask. Oh, Mrika Shabakshi. Phone I go. What can I beautify your chin? That is the boat of Mukunda's bliss with a drop of musk. During the transcendental vision, Sri Raghunatha. In Swarupa hangs disc shaped hairpins above Shimati's ears. And now he proceeds by placing a mask drop on her chin. When the vision of placing the hairpins disappears, Raghunatha does laments. The pain of separation that Jata Prema devotee, devotee whose love for Krishna has awakened, feels is very intense. The pain of separation that Jata Prema devotee feels is very intense, no doubt. But Srila Raghunatha Das Goswami is in the kingdom of Mahabha, far beyond that. When devotee reaches the stage of Rati, he gets visions of Lord's forms, qualities, and he experiences great transcendental ecstasy. But when the stage of prema is attained, there is not so much bliss felt from perceiving the Lord's form in spurti anymore. The mind then becomes greedy after something even more special. And that is attainment of the Lord's direct darshan. I will try to say something. Because it is written here that Rati, strong emotions, gets visions or spurti. So this Rati or ba sometimes we say is very important to attain for the world. Which rati? Rati for loving Ishtabhus. And we can see here that Raghunati Das Goswami has his beloved Ishtabhus and he has strong rati intense feelings for Radhika. And by the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who sends 
Rupa, Raghunatha. His loving associates in this world. We, simple jivas, we got the opportunity also to feel some drops of their feelings for Radhika and some desires to develop in our hearts, some greed, Acharyas are saying, to serve them in a loving mood. And it was also uh, only possible because of Goranga's mercy. I really don't know what will happen with this world if Chaitanya Mahaprabhu didn't appear. I cannot imagine so. But by the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, by the through his audarya, gracefulness, it is possible. And this gracefulness is actually the part of Kripa. And that Kripa is the part of Matura. It is very interesting that someone who has Madhurya sweetness in his heart and who is Madhurya, personification of Madhurya sweetness, for him it's completely natural to be very kind to all living entities, to have to give the Kripa. And by the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, living entities can attain the most exalted Kripa to become Radharani's maidservant. It's never happened before, it said, and it will never happen later on. And it said that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was not appearing in each Kali Yuga. He is appearing, I don't know, 28, 24, doesn't matter for us. So we cannot account on that, that if we miss this chance, this opportunity, we cannot account that we will get who knows when. So, through his associates, he gave this possibility to attain the spiritual, transcendental emotions and attachment, Rati, so that we can taste this beautiful Manjari Bhav. Without Rati, this intense feeling cannot be, it's not possible to relish Rasa. Because only through Bhava, which is very intense, it is possible to serve Rasa. And we need desperately mercy to attain this stage of Rati. Because only through attachment to beloved Radhika, we can continue and continue further to develop our spiritual life. And Baba is saying here in his commentary, the mind that becomes greedy after something even more special, he's saying that actually greed to attain lords is greed. There's some greed inside. 
but more intense grief will bring results even more special than to attain the Lord. And this is direct darshan, direct service, like a shadow. And this is the goal of all Gaudiya Vaishnavas to attain lotus feet of Rabbi. This is the mercy of Darya, sweetness, Madhurya of Lord Chaitanya. And we can see here that all these prayers and work in the form of verses actually maybe more than 90% of them are written in the mood of Swarupesh. And in that way, Raghunatha Das Goswami is teaching us neophytes, aspirants, how by following his feelings, his mood, to, do, to develop at least some drops of attachment rati to Radhika. And it's very often said that through loving separation, love can be more intensified. And uh, Gurudev sometimes gives objection and say, mm, no, it's not possible to attain separation without love. First love and then separation. And that's really true. If we love something, then we feel separation. If we don't love something or someone, we will be very apathic, <laughs> very impersonal. And we will not feel strong separations <coughs> from that person. So in the mood of separation, loving separation, Raghunata here <coughs> is praying to Radhika, please, I want to beautify your chin. Chin. Yeah. Under the lips. Chin. He is completely concentrated on Radhika's face. <coughs> and not even in all face. After that, in the detail of this faith, and this is the chain. His eyes, his concentration, his feelings are completely focused on the chain of Shimati Rabbanani. And he wants to put <laughs> drop of musk. He's praying, he's crying to do it. So it said that Sri Raghunata Das is on the level of Mahava. So his heart is always filled with great eagerness to see the Lord directly. Who? Which Lord? Which kind of Lord is? Lord of his heart. Someone who completely stoned his heart. And this is Radhika. His loving mistress, Swami. Between Spurti, visions, and Sakshadarsh, direct seeing, there is a medium stage which is called Visputi. 
or a more vivid kind of spiritual. All the transcendental visions of Sri Raghunatha Das are in that category. Janandi Maharaj, do you want to say to us about these stages of Smarana and Deep Smarana? And finally, when the Muti attains flesh visions and deep visions. Is it okay for you? Why not? <laughs> I'm sorry. You asking me or? Huh? Yes, yes, yeah. <clears throat> if you can help me, I try to make some introduction, but if I also I I could not explain nicely here because I'm less realization. <clears throat> so so we know the stage. At first, uh, analytical brick. Uh, uh, Ado Shuddha, Sadhu Sangha, Bajana Kriya, Anatani Brick, and Nishta, and then Ruchi. Ruchi is some taste. And then asakti. Ruchi's taste is so strong. And then we could hear any chanting, anything, even chanting is very not expert. Sometimes we do, sometimes you know, like a tune is not right. Sometimes out of tune, but still, if we hear. Still, we so much attached to the, 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 no, the name or Kirtan or Lira, anything. So that's kind of so much attachment is too much increasing. And then kind of Lati, Lati is kind of beginning of love appear. And because too much attachment, for example, we experience if we attached a uh, something and then uh, whatever we see, whatever we do, we remember something. So this is uh, Latin means just to, just to starting. Like uh, someone who get married. From beginning, love starting point. This is Rati. So at that time, Acharya say, we can, we can feel and, and recognize our spiritual body. And then at that time, this say, uh, spirit. Spirit is a kind of, kind of vision. Any, say, we can say any vision. Uh, like if we too much attach somebody, then sometimes we can see some vision. Oh, is it that person? And, and that according to our love, according to this attachment, Krishna or Radharani, will reciprocate our feeling. So at that time we have to <laughs> we have to give up all material desire, all material feeling. Otherwise Radha and Mohan does not react so nicely. But this say uh, we don't understand clearly, but uh, 
it's feeling is more increase, more increase, more increase. Then vision from, from B, from beginning vision is not clear. Like, uh, sometime in winter in Brindaban, many folk there. So sometimes uh, by, you know, we are uh, we are in the car, but sometimes we cannot see clearly. But uh, stage is clear and all focus disappear. Then vision is clear. This is mentioned, uh, this is shakshat, shakshat kara kalpa. Be spirit. Be means more, more intense, more clear. And then here mentioned, uh, Anandas Baba mentions uh, Shaksha Darshan, direct seeing. At that time, direct means we can, you know, sometimes we can talk, we can, we can kind of reciprocate. This is a very high stage, but uh, this kind is Anandas Baba is described very nicely. So we may not understand clearly, but uh, if that stage is coming, like a good day could <laughs> explain more, more nicely. But uh, it, once someone who gets the mercy of good day, mercy of Radha Mohan, at that time we can only understand. Otherwise only theoretically, I can say only this one, this much. Thank you, General. Thank you, General. Both in his external consciousness and during transcendental visions, he is focused on she rather's lot of spheres. Wherever there is a full surrender, there can be no question of divisions of interests. The perfection of prema cannot be attained by thinking, I will give something to my body and my family, and the rest I will give to my beloved deity. Everything must be surrendered to the lotus feet of the beloved day. The devotee must take shelter undoubtedly. So we can see here that there is no division of interests. For someone, who is completely surrendered, who completely surrendered his heart, his mind, to be loved. And perfection of Prema itself cannot be attained by thinking, I will give some more things to me and the remnants to the Lord. Because we have tendency to do everything for ourselves. And if we are enough pious, then we can accept this concept of religiosity and say, okay, but for my benefit, for my welfare, I will give something to the Lord. This kind of consciousness is a business consciousness, you know, but we cannot expect that through this kind of consciousness, we attain pure love. Because the pure love is a high to key, causeless love. And to learn this causeless love, 
we have to connect our minds and hearts with the love Swami, with the love Ishtadu. And we have to learn how to do it by following proper examples of our Acharyas. Because devotee must take shelter undoubtedly. Here is a written another word, unequal walker, something like this. I read in a dictionary, and it means undoubtedly, without whiff of doubt. Without whiff of doubt. Narutama sings, O oh Lord, I didn't worship you without hidden motives. If there are any other motives within the heart, it is called deceitfulness. And without being free from these hidden motives, the Prema Sadhana cannot be done. Can you repeat that? Yes. I'll repeat. O oh Lord, Narutama Das Thakur is saying, O oh Lord, I didn't worship you without hidden motives. If there are any other motives within the heart, it is called deceitfulness, cheating. Without being free from these hidden motives, the prema sadhana cannot be done. So sadhaka always has to be aware and do his homework and to see how much hidden motives I have in my heart. Outside I'm talking, I'm trying to, to convince myself and to convince the others how I am, how I am fixed and behave like someone who doesn't have a hidden motives. But my duty, my homework, has to be that I always very carefully, with full awareness, purity as much as possible, sincerity, try to look deep in my heart and see which kind of deceitful person am I. And we can see, we can see that this kind of thoughts and sometimes words are actually crying of Vaishnavas. They are crying because they recognize all this bad habits in the heart and they are crying because they know these bad habits cannot bring me to my son. This is the crying from the heart. I think it's written for someone right. Atma Krandana. Yeah. The if we can translate Atma, crying from the heart, yeah. honest, sincere crying, not crying, rather you have to appear to me. Not crying, I didn't get spurti, I didn't get vispurti, 
I don't have nice realizations. No, I'm crying because I am completely useless. I am a cheater. Fool who thinks that he's very, very intelligent. And very devoted. Just gonna add that this is checking for deceitfulness is one of the ways of surrendering, one of the five ways of surrendering the last chapter of Bhagavad Gita. Yeah. Yes. This is the sign of surrender. Someone who is really surrendered, he is crying because he recognized his hidden motive. Someone who is not surrendered, he cannot recognize it. So this is important because Baba is speaking here to warn us how to meditate on us, with which kind of consciousness to meditate on us. But at the same time, we have to nourish this, like Jananda Mahar said, this Ruchi. And we have to nourish through bhajan, through kata, through shavanam, kirtanam, we have to nourish this higher taste, as many times we heard. But without homework, it will be deceitfulness. And it's very clear written in many, many places. And if we ignore that, it means that we are not enough sincere. Oh Lord, I didn't worship you without hidden motives. Narottam of Dastaku is saying this. And Baba is continuing. If there are any other motives within the heart, it is called deceitfulness. Without being free from hidden motives, Prema Sadhana cannot be done. What to speak of a payment? Of the fruits of pain. Desire for distinction is a great enemy of aspirant. Very serious things Baba is written here. Very serious. Desire for distinction comes from bodily consciousness. And this desire makes our identity so strong. And this makes our ego so strong. And we always find a way, cheating way. How to bring more strong this this fiction. <laughs> and this is cheating, kapatya, propensity. And this is great enemy of the aspirant. Aspirant. Even a person who has renounced everything may desire to touch the hopes to or desire for distinction. I'm great scholar. I'm very qualified. I'm very wise. I am absorbed in watching. I'm very famous. I will lord over everyone and thus become very happy. Sometimes when we listen to these words, 
Sometimes when we are listening these words, maybe we can think this not considered to me. It's considered to others. I cannot recognize myself here. It's really my misfortune, but I cannot recognize myself here because I'm so much deeply rooted in this sinfulness that I cannot recognize. And that's the reason why I need my homework and need the blessings of Vaishnavas to understand my chanting mentality. These desires are called pratishta, or the or desire for distinction, and there is no greater obstacle to development of devotion than that. This desire is like a band of pirates, group of pirates, that enters the boat of sadhana and plunders it. Dragging it down to help. In his Manashiksha, teachings for the mind, Sri Raghunatha Das writes, O mind, the shameless dog eating woman of desire for prestige. Distinction and position is dancing in my heart. How can beautiful, pure love of God ever touch it then? Therefore, always serve the matchless leading devotees who are dear to the Lord. So that this Pariya woman can quickly be Chased out of the heart, and the love of God may enter it. I repeat one more time. O oh mind, the shameless dog eating woman of desire for prestige, distinction, and position is dancing in my heart. Shameless dog eating woman. What do you know the Thakur is saying? Why is shameless? Because it enjoys in this position. I enjoy. To be dog eating woman. Of desire for prestige distinction and position and this is the shameless and not even that this desire happily dancing in my heart how can beautiful pure love of god then even touch it Therefore, always serve the matchless leading devotees who are dear to the Lord, so that this Arya woman, low caste woman, can quickly be chased out of the heart and love of God may enter it. So this is diagnosis, and another sentence is solution. Recipe, medicine. Deep in my heart, I am happy to obtain prestige, distinction, and any position. And this is my sickness. Diagnosis of my sickness. But Narutamadas Thakur, uh, Dragonatadas 
is very merciful and is said only if we take the matchless leading devotees and we serve them, then this woman, Pariya woman, low caste woman, prostitute sometimes he said, can quickly be chased out of the heart and love of God may enter it. So this is why Gurudev Jayanda Maharaj also emphasizes how much how important it is to really read and understand and practice what is written in Manashiksha. It is very small booklet, but very condensed with diagnosis, recipes, and final medicine to attain our goal. In Prema Bhakti Chandrika is also said, don't endeavor for the faults like profit, adoration, and destruction. Always think on Govinda's lotus feet. All calamities will then go and you will become very happy. This is the great cause for loving devotion. Undoubtedly, surrender without doubts cannot take place <clears throat> when we keep on pulling between different interests. I am she Radha's maid servant. I don't have a relationship with anyone else. This kind of loyalty will awaken in the heart of pure, independent devotee. Sri Raghunatha does falls on the bank of Radha Kunda and weeps. What to do? How to become Sri Radharani's beloved? That must be learned from Acharyas. Russians in the kingdom of Lila, holding a cup with mask in her left hand and brush in her right hand, she stands before Swami, wearing her leftover glistening blue sari. I'm sorry, I have to stop here because we can see now clearly how in all things Anantadas Babaji is trying to prepare our consciousness for real life, which is coming now. And he's giving the most important instructions and warnings for neophytes. Aspirants, sadakas, like we are. Then he's going deeply in it, mentioning what is going between Tulasi and Swami in the bathroom. Tulasi is in the kingdom of Lila. Holding the cup with mask in her left hand and the brush in her right hand, she stands before Swami, wearing her left over glistening blue sari. Swami mercifully 
gave her the sari because she was very much satisfied with Tulasa's service. How beautiful she looks in it. Seeing Swamini's playful eyebrows and eyes, Tulasi calls her Mriga Shalbakshi, phone and girl. She holds the cup with the fragrant mask close to Swamini's nose so that she will remember Krishna's bodily fragrance. While her eyes that extend to the ears move around restlessly, Swamini asks to us, where does that fragrance come from? I understand that my Priyatama is coming. The fragrance of Krishna's body defeats that of blue lotus flower anointed with mass. This fragrance pervades all the 14 worlds and attracts everyone, blinding the eyes of the girls. Oh, Sakti, Krishna's fragrance maddens the world. It enters the women's nostrils and always remains sitting there, holding them and taking them to Krishna. It is written in Chaitanya Charitamrita, until the 19th chapter. It steals the bodies and minds of women and makes their nos noses clear. The women of the world then become like the mad women whose brains losing of agitation. That's how the highway man of Krishna's bodily fragrance is. Shimati is agitated by smelling the musk and she shows many sweet emotions through the expressions on her face and in her eyes. To us, then says, Oh, for I go, he who becomes agitated from the smell of this mask he has not come. Hearing the words he has not come, Swamini becomes upset and it is as if her heart breaks. But Tulasi makes Mohana appear in the form of musk drop on her chin. Today in the morning, Buddha was explaining us actually the difference in material life and love, sorry, material love and spiritual love. In spiritual love, third person, third side is necessary. And in material life, this third side actually sometimes makes mess. In material love, couple wants to be alone, to escape from everyone. And if some third person appears, then problems starts. 
different problems. But in spiritual love, transcendental love, lovers need third person to serve, to support, to turn situation, to provoke, to decorate, and so on, and so on, and so on. So for me personally, it was so nice revelation which Guru gave to us this morning. I have to say. So we can see how much Manjari Bal and Manjari's Kinkar, especially Kinkar's, are important in loving exchange of Radha. So, to us is continue to speak with Radhika and say, you know what this chain of yours is. It is temple of Mukunda's bliss. He frees you from whatever you have. That's why he's Mukunda to us. Practice. He frees you from whatever you have. And that's why he is Mukunda. Hearing this, Swamini is overwhelmed and she sits still so that Tulasi seizes her opportunity and put the mass drop on her chin. How wonderful this mass drop blazes there. Like a baby black bee drinking honey from a golden lotus flower. To us he says, he, Mohan, is black. The drop is also black. That drop has now attained its rightful place. Krishna will become jealous of that drop. The owner of the temple will come and fade that drop out by kissing your chin. And that's exactly what I want. This is my desire. This is my only desire. Being fully surrendered to her, may servants know exactly what is on Swamini's Mahabhava mind. And they serve her accordingly. By Swami's grace, they know exactly what she needs. I call myself the maid servant, but still. Swamini doesn't respond. As soon as my mind and my heart become qualified, she will certainly respond. I cannot eat. I cannot sleep. I am crying for her day and night. Can merciful Swamini remain silent, although she sees all this?
In Srimad Bhagavatam 9.465, Sri Narayana told us to do us How can I forsake my devotees who have given up their wives, homes, children, relatives, and wealth to surrender unto me? And Swamini is the embodiment of compassion. Purusha, a man or personality of God, bestows his mercy after due consideration. But Swamini is an apara dayavati, an endlessly merciful goddess. And she bestows her mercy without any consideration. Her compassion will certainly descend when she hears the devotee anxiously praying. My heart is blinded by illusion. Please purify me and give me shelter at your lotus feet. My heart is blinded by illusion. Please purify me. Give me shelter at your pursuit. This is the crime of the altar. And this is the sign of great greed. Without such strong greed, such kind of crime is not possible. So we must learn how to cry also, out of love. This is why Gora is so merciful. He has accepted the mood and complexion of Sri Radha. Srila Raghuna Das Goswami is the full receptor. Someone who receives Sri Gora's grace. He cannot even swallow a little water anymore. I didn't see Swami. What is the use of staying alive? In Pada Kalpataru, it's written. Raghunata Das Goswami wept day and night. His body and mind were burning, and his body was grained by dust. He had gone blind from fasting. And his body that felt to him like a mere burden was burning in the fire of separation. Although we may repeat the words of Acharyas, our prayers to Swami's lotus feet must become pure. Although we may repeat the words of Acharyas, our prayers to Swami's lotus feet must become pure. So it's clear. Maybe we can learn the words of Acharyas. We can learn Shastras, verses, back and forth. Repeating like a parrot. But the prayers, hankerings of the heart, crying must be pure. There seems to be no practice 
more delightful than this. Those who want to make their bhajan a success must depend on this one, these great words. Each syllable crystallizes one point of morality to Radha's lotus feet. Those who want to make their bhajan successful must depend on this one, these great words. Each syllable crystallizes one point of loyalty to Radha's lotus feet. Tulasi lovingly makes many, many luscious jokes while putting the mask drop on Swami's chin. This drop makes the natural beauty of Sri Radhika's face even more brilliant. Shilavishwana <laughs> Chakravati. Thakur writes in Krishna Bhavanamrita 474. This blue drop is like the full moon rising from an ocean of sweetness. This blue drop is like a full moon rising from an ocean of sweetness. Seeing this, Krishna would consider it to be a seal, declaring it to be his. And he will personally come to rejoice in experiencing its flavor again and again and again. Plus, he brings strong emotions into Swami's heart. This is Majori Sura. This is Rasika Sura. To bring strong emotions in Swami's heart. She already has the strong emotions. But Manja is helping that these strong emotions become even more strong. To make these emotions so intense that her lover faints. To us, he brings strong emotions into Swami's heart that is suffering separation. Blessed is her expertise in devotional service. How many memories of different pastimes doesn't to us awaken in Swami's heart? When she holds Swami's chin, she suddenly doesn't get anything anymore. And her heart Immerse in an ocean of love and separation as she anxiously laments, To whom shall I give this mask drop now? To whom shall I give this mask drop to now? She Haripada Shila sings. Oh, fallen eye girl, O oh, worshipper of oh, Sri Govinda's play, when will I put the glisten must drop on your chin? 
that is like a divine temple of grace so that your face will become as beautiful as the moon with all its 16 changes. Om Vika Shalomshi. For I go. When can I beautify your chin? That is the boat of Mukunda's face. With the drop of the mask. You can see that without commentaries on the words, we would not be able to understand if we read just the words. But by the mercy of Mahavani, of our sweet Acharyas, who are completely drowned in Rasa, maybe we can get some Kripa, drops of Kripa, to understand this. So by only by reading on our own, also is not possible. We need a key from a person who has a key of Rasa. My desire for Rasa. Who can open and then I can enter following her. Always little behind, but always following. And we are very fortunate here that actually we have a real Sadhu Sangha. We have Sadhu Sangha of Raguna Das Goswami. We have Sadhu Sangha of Ananta Das Babaji, Narutam Das Thakur, Vishwana Chakra Thakur. We have Sangha of our Guru there. So we are in a proper association, Sadhu Sangha. We have Sadhu Sangha of And we have Sangha with all Vaishnavas, Guru that is having us. Guanga Sundara Prabhu. I would like to share a little bit if you if you allow me, if you want to. Yes, of course. <laughs> Please. <laughs> The two things I remember when what I heard from Guru if I have also not so many realizations on the sporties and the visportis. But I remember that how Guru said that when Tulsi is taking Tulasi is Mandri is taking Shimati Radhika's chin in her hand. To do her service. Then she has to come very close to, to her face. So this closeness is needed to, to come into this direct service. <laughs> and I also remember that Gurudev gave this hint that uh, when we have this closeness, then we can see Swamini's eyes and we can see her 
you know, all her her whole features of the of the face. And uh, once she also mentioned um, in connection with Radha Mohan, that is so important that we want to get the closeness with our Swamini because we need to feel what is the how are her lips and what are the you know the shapes of her beautiful eyes and um, her cheeks and all these like details of the uh, the features of the face so that we can in our meditation that we have a close up so to say in these services i'm praying for this to come i'm not saying that i am there by just I just repeat what I have heard from Gurudev in that regard. And when, he, when uh, he's saying these things, then I, I can just imagine how it must be to be, you know, in such a closeness with Swamini that I can see her face and feel all the details that are needed to put this chin drop in her, on her, in the, in the way that will be the right way to do it. That is just what I want to say. And also one thing Gurudev said to me last time when I was in Vrindavan, oh, that is also in this connection. Sometimes when my mind becomes very uh, stubborn, huh? and we all know this, Probably you also know this, the, the mind can be like a friend, but also like a, 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 a blockage. So then the mind becomes so a little bit like a rebellion. And I, I said to Gurdi, wow, you know, how can I, how can I see Radha Mohan in their full size, you know, when I see them like this, like, like just small uh, murtis or figures or like that. And then Gurdiv said one thing that I always remember that I really liked and that sh was shaking me up. He said, yes, if we are very big, they are becoming very small. And if we get become more small, they become very big. <laughs> mm. Means uh, when I'm in my bodily or mental consciousness, then uh, Radha Mohan seemed to be very small, right? But when I'm in my in my Swarup and I become very small, then I can see how they are lying on the bed and how they are exchanging, you know, their sweet uh, lilas and everything. So that uh, just some exchanges that I remember in this regard. And... Uh, I also remember one very nice Leela that when Gurudev was giving uh, uh, on Radha Kund that also Shrimati Radhika wants to put the mask drop on Krishna. That is also very special. I only heard this so far from you, Gurudev. And she wants to put, she also has the, the brush in her hand and she also has the mask in her hand. And then she wants to put the drop on the mask drop on Krishna's chin after bathing. That was also one special lila that Gurudev was giving from his bhaja. Thank you, Sumiti. Thank you very much for sharing. This morning, Gurudev uh, was talking to us how much is important to meditate on the face of God. So you share something about this, and for that we need the closeness, intimacy, to meditate on the face of Radhika. And Vilapa Kusumanjali is helping us through the many verses, because in many verses is mentioned, in many verses is mentioned how to us is decorating the face of Radhika. And if we read carefully and meditate 
on these verses, we can really maybe get some nice realizations, at least relishing the, through the words of Acharyas, because she is decorating the eyes, eyebrows, putting dots on the forehead, tilak, even making the red lines on the teeth, lips, pearl under the nose, must drop. So many things are going. Vermilion, like a, this Sindura strip. So many Shingar, these decorations are actually focused on Radhika's head and face. Many voices. And we help us, Sadhakas, to feel more close to our Guru Swami with the help of our Guru Manjus. There is one thing more for me. Why did must be put in the chair? Under the lips. Under the chin. Under the This is the place for black. <laughs> no, too much ecstasy. <laughs> okay, I want to share one thing. Uh, uh, no, actually, many things. <clears throat> Is it okay? <laughs> yes. So, actually, this bus, why? Why put Mukunda? Why not Shama Sundara? Why put this Mukunda? It's a very repeat it because the internet was broken. No, 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 and what is this place under the lip? So he said, this is the right place for you that you can use inside it. You can keep it. I don't deny them with this. And Radhika said, why you put black here? He said, no, no, no. This is nothing. This is, I give the players that he can give you. Oh, oh, who can do it? So, Radhika liked this idea that she will be keeping in mind that Krishna can come and do this. Remove this. In, in. Further, what to do, Manjari said. Mm. One day Gopina said, nah, why you worry? I will take care of you. Come with me, I will take care of you. My dear is direct to Radhaka. So similarly, my dear is so goodness with Radhika, she said, why you do this black? It looks nice. Because I make this part that we understand where to keep this right place for him to put it. It's okay to keep it. Keep your eyes. And see the meditating on site. Yada Kala. This now will come. And it will happen. 
So that way, more and more desire increased by the Chinese, or rather, and they say alone also, I make your place very good. How to do that? We have to go and sign it there. No way to do it. Or organize nicely. See that. The drop has now attained a rightful place. <laughs> rightful place. Krishna will become jealous of the drop. The owner of the temple will come and fade that drop out by kissing your chin. Yeah. <laughs> to destroy the decoration of my name is the proudness of the Mandiri. When they don't destroy the garment, then she say, oh, my service. <laughs> so this is how they become like they use it. And that's exactly what I want. Again, yes, this is looking at this part. Yes. How, yeah. how wonderful this must drop blazes there. Ah. Like a baby black bee drinking honey from a golden lotus flower. Ah. To us, he says, He, Krishna, is black. The drop is also black. Yeah. That drop has now attained its rightful place. Right. And Krishna will become jealous of that drop. Yeah. <laughs> I drop it there. This is my place and drop it. <laughs> <laughs> And then yes, the and also uh, Ragan, uh, uh, Rangas and uh, Jainanda Maharaj also said that he had a uh, 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 sharing he wanted to just express when the yes, sound was on. Yeah, Maharaj, <laughs> you were very lucky. So here, why Mukunda's word is used? This is very in, in, interesting. Like uh, usually, Mukunda is someone who gives liberation, right? It's by devotional but thinking. Mukunda is someone who gives liberation. That is Mukunda. But Rashika Vaishnava understand what means Mukunda. This English translation like this. Uh, he frees you from whatever you have. So this is, we may not understand clearly. That means Krishna could liberate, you know, Sari is binding, Chori is binding, you know, may, radical body binding so many bind so many cross. Krishna could liberate all things. So, <coughs> so, Torashi said, why using Mukunda? Because Swamini could remember the pastime of Shama and Mukundas. So, therefore, uh, Swamini is overwhelmed. And then Torashi is remember Mukunda, <laughs> this mask drop put in it. So this Anantadas Baba explained in Uttukarika Barari one place at the meaning of Mukunda. 
Tidak ada. Tidak ada. Ya. Just thinking about the the body, um, the radicus body, decorating the body. The uh, Radharani's body is not only the object of Krishna's love, but Radharani's body, we're often told, is love itself. Her body is love. So when Anandadas Babaji, is, as he often does, describes in detail the body, putting makeup on the body, putting ornaments on the body, he's helping us to understand the shape of that divine love by describing for us the shape of that body. So it's contours, it's hardness, it's softness, it's roughness, it's beautiful points. It's a way of revealing to us what divine love is like by seeing what the body of divine love is. And that's what Radha Yeah. Yeah. This chain is temple of Mukunda's bliss. He frees you from whatever you have. That's why he's Mukunda. That's very funny. Someone wants to share. So the question is the dot in the middle is the dot is the dot painted in the middle of the chin or a little more up? It's a technical detail, but I'm wondering what it's um it depends. And then where she feels suitable <laughs> to make happy to Radhika, and where is it for Krishna to read the goal? <laughs> <laughs> when we will take the mandiri bhav, we can also assist that. But, yeah. mm. With only feeling and by a deep meditation to realize there are. I also wanted to ask like, in material beauty, we consider beauty to have a beauty spot just above the lid or just next to the eye. But in, in the case of Shimati Radharani, we see that Manjalis are putting there on the cheek. Uh, no, no cheek. Um, I'm wondering what is really the reason it's exactly there? Because to be just next to the lip, it would be even more closer. I'm sorry if the question is stupid, but it just came in comparison with the uh, with the um, sense of material beauty in material world, there is two worlds. One is material world, and one is the spiritual world. When we talk about Radha and Krishna, it's not material. We can feel. From thick in material body that where it exists. But the our body is not material. 
our body is material because it's temporary. Material means temporary. And they're not temporary. They are divine. So one is a form of feelings and one is a form of rasa. Without feeling, there is no rasa. So that when the feelings make the form, that is rasa. And rasa make the form, that is Raso Vaisaka is Krishna. Without feeling, there is no rasa. Everyone wants rasa, but we don't know how to get rasa. We all want Krishna, but we don't know how to get Krishna. But when we will increase our material identification in the spiritual identification, when I will come to the soul consciousness, I will live in the soul consciousness, and then I will feel. And living in the feeling is naturally feeling living is the spiritual, and feeling is the spiritual life, and it comes only in my spiritual constitutional form. It's not material. Material feeling based on senses, that is material, last material desire. To cut this material last material desire, we need a spiritual feeling and the spiritual last. Then it cuts material. <coughs> the spiritual last is the highest because Krishna is also spirit. That is that is the highest spirit is the Krishna. And also one spirit is without form in the material world. So we are influenced with the Kamadeva, then we suffer. And when we are in meditation of Rasa, Krishna, then we need a spiritual feeling for understanding. That's the divine way. We want rasa, but we don't know how to get rasa. So it takes a long time, 3 to 20 years, 30 years, but we cannot get it. We cannot get it till now, but how to get it? Now you will get the spiritual thing with material <coughs> identification. Possible? No possible. No possible. I want to identify my senses and I want to know that I am a soul. It's not possible. If I want to know soul, I have to forget materialize. I have to stop my lusty desire in material world. <coughs> then I can move that <coughs> that way. This is the way. It's not a religious, it's a divine. What is not material? And if you serve with material things, by touch of them, it all becomes divine. So 
that touch make all divine. That could be. When we have a desire for rasa, then rasa gives our sixth sense that you can come if you develop feeling in life, when you take the center of life and you get the mercy of Radhika, then feeling will rise. You learn with Radhika how to serve and unconditional love to you. And when we practice these things and we start living, then we forget our material idea. This is the mercy of Raja Rani and mercy of Rasik Bhaskar, of Rasik followers. Only their association can change our life. No other. <coughs> We are always conditioned, we are always marginal, we are very independent. With all signatures can we come out from that, in, from the gunas, and Krishna mercy from Mr. Rasa, mercy for to show Allah do not give without the spiritual body. That is Do not help to the religious people who want to be in material body and he want to do everything, this and that, then no help. We say that we are to smart in your feet, but it is okay. But we not leave the point to be with Radhika, be with Krishna, <laughs> Radha Krishna, how they exchange their love without their mercy and Vaishnava. All Vaishnavas are helping. You are listening, you are helping to us. Who are listening, they help. If the listener is there, then we can share it. You can share it. If no listener, who will share that? With all with mercy to ourselves. All of us alone. All mercy. All everyone will be mercy. I don't know, but you want to listen that Radha Rani inspired to me sometime from her, from that. We <laughs> select who can do that. We are a student on this. So he enjoyed that, that nature of it. He enjoyed to become happy with the happiness of Radha. That's the only beauty of this. Radha. I finished with you. Finished? Yes. Six thirty. Six thirty. Yeah, no, no. Very correct I used You say something. My daughter Sundar is waiting to be here. Gopinath is also sharing to share something. <laughs> My stomach is burning. <laughs>
Yeah, he, he, if you he will not take it out, it will be <laughs> not good for you. Take it out. I love when you are, when I can listen to you. But I want to hear from Gora Sundar. He is so inspiring, I cannot say this. <laughs> Who like to share good there? You. <laughs> <laughs> I like to listen to one Gopinath. Really good. If I don't know, you spoke about independency. I really don't know who is really independent. Is Krishna really independent? I cannot see this. <laughs> 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 this is your reason. I plan this. This is the reason. So we always speak about uh, the independency of Krishna and that the Jiva is also like this independency, but what is the meaning of this independency? So who is more dependent uh, than Krishna? He cannot be happy when he is really independent. And who? Try to be independent. He try to be independent. Yeah. And make us in independent. <coughs> that is the <coughs> Prabhupada same Bhagavad Gita. But you are also right. <coughs> I see so much depend on Radhika also. From the pin, what is that? Of the Radhika's hairpin. Hairpin. He is pin like that. Yeah. <laughs> Dependency gone. He is pinning. Yeah. Suniti is telling one day. So he is independent, not there. You are right. I agree with you. He is in, in the front of Radhika and the Madhuri make him to spin. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Even before he knows it, Gurudev. <laughs> we see him when, when the Madharis are counting this, they can only count to three, <laughs> twenty. <laughs> and when they make this, with the cow dung in his face, this dots, one, two, three. Yeah. Can. How can a, a full independent person do like this, behave? No. You see? So, uh, he wants to do that. But then he is in the, in the biggest bliss. This independent person, when he stays there and waiting for the counting of the manjaris, <laughs> then he is in his biggest bliss. This super soul, this, this God, this Paramatma. Who gets him? <laughs> gone. Yeah. Gone. 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 He's a slave to the manjaris. No, nothing like this. <laughs> He's gone, kid. So you see the beauty? So what is what consciousness is good or bad? Yeah. To, to independent, to be a soul identification, or to come in manjari, how to leave that? That's the biggest good there. Yeah, you say na. As I bow, fixed nature. That is there. Is very special, very special. When the nature is fixed, all is set. When nature start jumping, everything is collapsing. Yes, we did. Thank you. You give the goal and when we find the goal, there is nothing more to search. 
Nothing. All set. <laughs> All set. <laughs> Thank you. More to set. Radhe, Radhe. So nice. In short, you say everything. <laughs> It's what I feel good, if you give me this feeling. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>